Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Disney I Love You Forever unboxing. Today we have not dolls, but accessory packs. These are all six accessory packs available from Shop Disney that are so cool. They are very fun accessory packs. They cover everything from pets all the way in to your workout. And they are inspired by Rapunzel, Snow White, Tiana, Cinderella, Mulan, and Belle. So they are very cool. And they all run for the same $16 from Shop Disney. A couple of them show up on Shop, on Target's shop which is the Tiana and the Snow White. But the others did not show up on shop on Target's uh, online shop. So they may or may not get them in the future. For now, they're all available from Shop Disney. So we're going to take a look at some of them. Now, there are a bunch of different accessories to have. But you know what makes me the most upset? so far looking at these is that we don't get these cute outfits on the side like these jeans we don't get these plain jeans anywhere in any of the fashion packs and we don't get the cute shirt anywhere that makes me a little sad and these cute little dolphin shorts we don't get those those are kind of like the ones that Ariel's pack has but they don't have that just basic thing and we don't get plain leggings that makes me a little sad but all of these are super cute. If you haven't seen parts one through four, go back and watch those for information about the dolls and the fashion packs, because they are really cool dolls. You'll see them here in the video. They'll be in their most recent outfits that I've put them in, but they are super cool. They're well articulated, they're well made. They do have a couple of flaws that I'll point out if it comes up but I've already expressed in the previous videos. But this has been a spectacular first wave from Shop Disney for a doll that was kept entirely under wraps until three days before the official launch when they just happened to show up in Targets. So, amazing response for a first line. Huge amounts of diversity in here, and I'm loving it. So, without further ado, let's take a look at our first Disney I Love You Forever accessory pack, inspired by Rapunzel. Now, as you can see, there are a couple of different things in here. We've got a locker for her art supplies. We have an easel. We have a painting. We have some painting supplies. We have colored pencils. We have a very cool little R for the uh, for her desk. We have what looks like a sketch pad, and then an art supply box and a mirror for her locker. Like there is so much going on here that is so random, but I love it because I love random doll things that help to make doll homes feel like you know real people live there. So, as you can see, there's a lot to be illustrated over here. We do have a Pascal bust, or a wall-mounted head kind of thing that's like paper mache so that's kind of awesome. What I could have loved is that the easel could have been a little bit bigger. This is more like a tabletop easel, and I would have loved to have seen the locker be taller than the doll, but it's still really cute. And here is the UPC for anybody trying to find her. I am going to take this out the same way I've taken out the others. I am not an in-the-box collector. I am an out-of-the-box collector. Lucky for y'all, I'm going to tell you everything that's in here. So, we've got to tilt down a little bit. 
So, let's see. Okay, so it is held in by corners. Um, so that's not horrible. I was expecting a lot more held in into the back of the box, like usual. But the fact that they're just held in by these little tabs means we can get rid of all this cardboard that's in the way. And they do, these packages are recyclable, which is great. But I wish they would have done the plastic free packaging like we had with the classic dolls, but I will forgive them because of how awesome this first release has been. So we are going to take those out sort of as gently as possible. So, as you can see, we got a lot going on. There's a lot to be had in here. We are going to do our best, aren't we? Okay. So, we are going to take our top plastic off, if we can. Or what? Why is it not coming off? Oh yes, okay, so there is some tape here on the edges keeping these pieces together. I'm gonna cut through those now so we can get them open. Okay, and if you are one of the people who is always saying I take too long I am thorough in my unboxings. I don't like to rush them. Because when I rush, pieces go flying everywhere, and then I have to search in my carpet, and it takes longer. Oh, so that's why it's not coming up. There are little pieces that are holding the thing to the bottom, because I don't know. Yes, what's the point in that? Okay, I think that's it. Very weird. Okay, so a lot more effort than it looked like to get that out. So first and foremost, here's our locker. Very cool. Let's see if I can get my fat fingers in there. Nope. Okay, there we go. So, this is how that looks on the inside. Very cute. It does have a cardboard backer, but it has a full molded plastic exterior, so that's not bad. We do get some stickers to put inside of our locker if we want to. I'm not much of a sticker person, because they don't hold up over time, but that's just a me thing. Here is our easel, it's very cute. And there is our painting. This is a pretty thick slab, so that's good. I was a little worried that was gonna be cardboard, but it's not. We have our little paint palette, very fun. We set that right there. We've got our little art box. Very cute, and it actually has a tray that comes out. That's unexpected, so that's awesome. Here is our very cute little mirror that actually has a little um, application thing on the back. I think you can just stick it in there. Uh, you might, might be able to finagle it into here, I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you can hang it right there. Yeah, it looks like it'll work there. Be a tight fit. But I'm actually going to save that for a dollhouse and not a locker. Here is our... And there is some Pascal and other things drawn on there. Very cute. 
here is her big R because I feel like she's a millennial. We're gonna put that up on top. Okay. And here are all of our art supplies. We've got colored pencils, very cute colored pencils. We've got some tubes of paint. We've got some different brushes that have handheld handholds. And all of that fits there in that top compartment that we can then close, which is awesome. The next part that we have does not really get explained. Somehow we're supposed to fold that into a little Pascal head, but they don't include any um, instructions that I saw. Well, they were not included in there. That's a little bizarre. Um, I think it's because there's probably only one way to fold this if you're doing it correctly. Just fold along the creases. Okay. into those little tab holes. Huh. A little more effort than I'd like for this. Feels more like a craft than an accessory at this point. This is the problem with big ass fingers. Uh, you just don't have the dexterity. And I shouldn't say, it's just because my fingers, it's also because I'm not very dexterous with things like this. Guess we go like this. Let's see, can we, yep, kinda, close enough. So it would look like that, then you can kind of fold these flat, I guess. So, not a, not a perfect vibe, but pretty close. And then it's got another one of those stickies on the back. I would probably take this and just use the plaque for something. Here is her sketchbook that comes included. I would have loved to have seen actual paper inside of there, like we saw in some of the notebooks that we got, but that's still really cute. So not too bad, and then everything fits nice and neat in there. 
does our easel fold up? Nope. Okay. So other than our easel, everything should fit inside of our locker for easy storage. Just like that. Now let me show you against the dolls how big these easels and things are, because I know when you see it online. Okay, so the easel at the top of it only comes up to her waist. The locker comes up to about her bust line, so not too big comparatively to some other accessories I've seen from other brands that do kind of similar things. But very fun. I like that it comes with the cabinet to put everything in. It does mean that it's a little more compact. And that is our first one done. If there's a little, a little close up of the stickers for you guys. So the first one's down. The next one is inspired by Snow White because she loves animals, of course. So this is our dog walking buddy. It's got a leash. It's got a little belt with treats and water bottles. It's got a little brush. It comes with a random visor. The thing that is there actually slid down there and it's like a dog walking schedule. Got some little treats and some puppy chow and I'm guessing a chew toy and then a little bowl for food. Now this dog is really cool. I like him because he's appropriately dog sized. I don't like him because he's cartoony when the, in the eyes. We're gonna see if his other leg is articulated or if it is just this one up front. Again, the same price on this one, the $16. This one is available at Shop Disney and at Target. I know I saw it for a fact in Target stores. So, very cool. We are going to take him out. Here is the back of the box to show you how everything kind of fits on the doll. So, very cute. It does look like his other leg is articulated, so that's nice. Um, and then here is the UPC for anybody looking for it. I'm not really getting how this is inspired by Snow White because she doesn't wear orange. And this is blue and white and orange. It would make more sense if it was blue and white and red or blue and white and yellow. But the orange, I don't know where it's coming from. So. Again, same situation. Everything is between these two layers of plastic. So we're going to have to get it out. And then also take it and cut the little things that are on the sides. So not as easy to get these out as it is the fashion packs, which is a little surprising. I would think that the fashions would be a little more secured than the accessories, which are generally pretty easy to get to. But they're very cute. Okay. Sorry, I'm having to get these tabs out. It's not as easy to do that on camera as it is to just do it. Again, here he is. Very cute. I'm gonna try to find all the little tape on the sides of things this time through. Oh, doesn't look like more. Oh, just messed with me the first time, I guess. This has little staples that are connecting the two layers because I don't know, I really, really want us to work to get these open. So. Here's our first one. We do have Dopey on this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday list. A little weekly checklist for our doggo. Very cute. 
here is our little chew toy. It's very cute. It's an apple. Here is our little food dish. I would love if this food was removable. Very cute little flowers painted on the side of it. We've got a visor that's got an apple on there. Very cute. Again, I don't know where the orange came from. It doesn't match like anybody's outfit. Maybe Moana's outfit it could go with. This is a cute little dog brush for a dog that doesn't actually have real fur. And then we've got Doc over here on the water bottle holder. Very cute, this goes around the waist. Here is the little water bottle that goes in there. It does match the flowers that are on the food bowl, which is cute. We've got one or two more things that are still connected by these things. I don't know why they do this to me. No. So here is the puppy treats, and then we actually get some out of the bag. Very cute. Again, if that was, if that food in the bowl was removable, we would have a little bit of an easier time, I think, putting the treats in there. And I have to go through and cut all of the little staples that are holding the leash in place, because that was necessary. Okay. So here is our dog. He is very cool. So apparently his, whatchamacallit, is not connected. So we do have his little leash. So his leash does come off, which I think is great. His collar, like bandana, does come off and shows his head. And his head is articulated. I love that. That is super cute. Unfortunately, his legs do not really let him stand correctly. Let's see. Anywhere? No? No? Mm -mm. Huh. Like, this is really good articulation for a dog. But unfortunately, I would have preferred his back legs to be articulated so he could move. But I do love that his head is articulated, because it means we can cheat him against things to stand him up. Here is his little, um, his little retractable leash. So that's super cute. So it just goes like that, and then it hooks back onto his collar. I like the bandana. But my dogs don't wear bandanas for very long. They only wear them when they just come back from the groomers. So it's very cute. And I think he's the appropriate size for a dog. Um, oh, sorry. I'm still getting over COVID, so I'm still a little sneezy. Um, but here is our dog compared to one of the dolls. Again, she's a good size. So that's appropriate dog size. He's about the size of a lab. So I like him. He's cute. His other accessories feel a little extra. But it's definitely almost like a career pack because this feels like it's a full-time job dog walker that's got all of these things. Um, I do love the little... Um, little chew toy for him and the bowl. I'm not gonna lie, I will probably use that dog in my uh, in my Barbie worlds. I might just repaint his eyes. Take that Disney tune out of him. Now our third pack that we have is inspired by Tiana. 
here she is right there. She looks really good in this artwork. It is a like a vacation pack. They don't give you like theme pack names. It's just inspired by Tiana. But she's got a little fan. She's got a little boom box. She's got some sunglasses, some more shoes, which is nice. So we get an extra pair of shoes in this pack. Um, She's got some little beignet bites. She's got another water, another uh, emotional support water bottle. She's got a magazine. Uh, what I'm guessing is like a little portable makeup bag. And then she's got some sunscreen and some nail polish and lip gloss and things. And a cute little travel bag and a big towel to lay out on. Again, same price. So this is 15 or 16 at Shop Disney and Target. This is the other one that was a Target that I saw. Here's everything laid out on the back so you can see how things look. It's very cute. Everything's very green. That's okay. Um, we are going to get her out of the box now so I can show you guys. And we are almost halfway through. I do want to be thorough with these so you guys know what you're getting with each of these packs. The accessory packs are pretty obvious what you're getting, but it's just, uh, I like to take it slow just in case. So here they are. They're still in that plastic. We're going to have to get them out. That just shows you a little bit more of what we're getting. But the theme is green, darling. Green is the theme. Now, the only thing that I want from Disney going forward with this line is to do some boys. Because guys want a Disney bound too, and there are a whole slew of male Disney characters like Aladdin, Lion King, Peter Pan, a bunch of them that they could do for this kind of line. Like, I would love to see these with male characters. So here they are. Don't see a ton of tape. Okay, boom, that's nice. Okay. So no tape on that one. So that's good. So let's see. So here is our very cute Sport Frog SPF. It is printed on both sides, which is really nice. They don't always do that for us. We've got our beignet bites, very nicely printed. It's not a sticker. And it has a handhold on the back, so that's awesome. Again, we've got a frog prince cup. Very cute with its straw and things. And of course, another handhold. We've got a cooking magazine, complete with interiors. Very cute, very Tiana. She would definitely be looking up recipes on her vacation. Let's see. This is her little makeup bag. It does open, so you can put her little makeup in there. So we'll put her little makeup in there. These don't open, unfortunately. But if you've seen my fashion mini videos, there are a ton of really cute miniatures that will work great for these. Here is her speakers. It's her little Bluetooth. It's got buttons on top and the speaker on the side. It even has the CE warning on the back. That's great. Very cute. Um, I like that it's got just the hint of lily pad here in the corners. Got some more sunglasses. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the way the sunglasses have played out, but they do fit on the faces. They just don't fit right all the time. You have to do a lot of finagling to get them to work. We have got a little froggy fan. Very cute. I do kind of wish those spun, but I get it. But it has a handhold, so that's nice. And it's got a little button and things, so it's very accurate to what that would look like in real life. 
and she's got some more shoes, just some very simple green sandals that are strappy. And then I have to cut the little uh, things that are holding this, these things in place. Unfortunately, because why would things be easy to take out? So here is our little travel bag. It does have a functioning zipper and an interior that we just take this stuff out of. So we can take our little makeup bag and our little froggy fan and our speaker and our sunglasses and our magazine and our SPF and our very cute little snack and just zip it all up in here and the only thing we've got out is our shoes and our little uh, whatchamacallit our uh, cup that's the word sorry a lot of brain fog came with this round of COVID cracking is real y'all and uh, I've got to take the little staples out of the towel to get it out so there is our little towel very cute a very cute towel indeed appropriately sized still a little short I would love for that to be the entire length of the doll of the doll to where you could lay them out fully but as it is if her head's on the towel it only goes down to about her knees so this is a very much like sitting up and reading towel. So bada boom, just like that. But very cute. And let me show you the difference between the other Tiana shoes. So these are the other Tiana sandals that we have from our previous pack that she is in. And she looks real cute. She is ready to read the day away on her towel, and we can wrap her towel up and put it away also. And it is actually terry cloth, so it would be a functional towel if you needed to uh, use it for that. I wouldn't use it for that, but if you could, or uh, you could if you needed to. Bada boom, and we just put our little towel in there, and it's good to go. Very cute, and we'll save her little shoes for later. And we'll take a look at our next one that is inspired by Cinderella. Our Cinderella fashion pack, this is like a bedroom accessory pack. Her and Belle, I feel like, may be the best because we hardly get desk stuff for dolls. This is very cute. This is probably gonna immediately go into one of my doll houses because it's nice and neutral. And she's got an alarm clock, she's got some books, she's got a desk lamp, she's got a whole computer set up. She's got a diffuser, like a whole little office set up. Like it's super cute. It's like she doesn't have any like land accessories on this one she's got two little potted plants the only things that probably won't make it into mine are these little notebooks unless they're plastic when I get them out but they look like they're cardboard but everything else I could easily see myself putting into a dollhouse immediately there is also a scented perfume on the uh, diffuser so interesting, I'll tell you guys what that smells like, hopefully. But it does show it all in this little like bedroom setup. I'm a little sad they don't sell us the tables and the little nightstands, that would be really cute. There is the UPC if you're looking for her. And we're going to get this one out, same way we got the others. Again, I'm more than a little bit irritated that we don't get those fun little outfits that they're wearing on the back of the accessory packs. That seems like a mistake, Disney. Uh, just 
just do this off the bat. We're gonna get these out of the cardboard part. these pieces are very cute. I am very much happy with what they decided to give us for accessory packs this time around. The only one that I'm a little confused by is the, is the pet pack. Not because it's a pet pack, but just because it's Snow White. Like I could see if it was like a like a fawn or a bunny rabbit, but a dog that doesn't feature anywhere. Like Cinderella has a dog, but it's very. Cute. Let's. Did I miss some that were taped in? Yes. Hold on. Thought this was free. I was wrong. It's taped on three points. It looks like. Bada bing, bada boom, right? Okay, so the most important question is what does this smell like? So it says pumpkin spice. It does smell, but not really like pumpkin spice. It smells a little bit more like bubble gum. Here is our little office organizer. That drawer does come out. That's really cute. I love that. We've got our metallic alarm clock that's right before midnight. She is a late worker. We've got our very cute little pen holder with some matching pens. I wish these had handholds though. Technically, I think you could use these as the handholds, but they're not the designated ones. We've got our bookshelf right there with our little bookends. I do wish those were separate, but that's a me thing, just because I love to style books. We have a little journal right there that's got the empty pages on the inside. Very cute. And then a little spiral journal right there with nothing on the inside, uh, like a blank composition notebook. That's fine. I wish this was wide enough that those fit in there perfectly but that's okay. Here is our little lamp. It does not have a bulb or anything. It's very cute, very cute though. Here is our first little uh, planter with our little succulent and it's a Mickey Mouse planter. So very cute little uh, homage right there. And then a bigger Mickey Mouse planter with another large succulent, very cute. So oddly enough, the mouse is not a Mickey Mouse, but a very cool computer setup. This is a molded keyboard. It's not just printed. Like that's awesome. And our last piece, I have to do another little trim of this, whatchamacallit, to get it out. Which is fine. I'm just not thrilled about it. Well, no, two. There's one on the bottom too. To keep it staying in the right spot. Hmm. How am I supposed to get that through? All the way? There we go. Okay. So. We've got a dream is a wish your heart makes. Very cute. Little pennant with some fringe down at the bottom. 
very cute. Like, it's a fun little accessory that does go in a bedroom. So, very fun. I think this and Belle are the most useful fashion packs coming, or accessory packs, coming from a miniature point of view. Just because they are all useful accessories that we don't get very often. Even in, even when you buy big dollhouses, I haven't seen them do a big desktop computer. Like, that's kind of crazy. So our next, our penultimate fat accessory pack is Mulan. One of my most anticipated ones. Because she comes with a full set of hand weights. Like, that's awesome. She's got a little tablet for her martial arts. She's got one of those exercise rings. She's got a jump rope, a workout bag, a yoga mat. Like, there's a lot going on in this one that's really just awesome. I originally was looking at it going, I don't need that, until I realized the weights were independent. And then I was like, I must have it. Like, it's very cute. And again, here's everything in the background, or on the back of the box, that's spread out. I want this shirt. <laughs> it's super cute. I'm hoping that they'll release like an, you know, just like an inspired by I Love You Forever kind of thing with like both pairs of pants and shorts. And then that shirt would just be awesome. I'd buy like five of those probably if they released it for like $10. Um, but very cute. And this does actually have backpack straps too, by the looks of it. Here is the UPC for anybody looking for it. Again, this is the $16 at Shop Disney. I did not see these at Target. Uh, only saw Snow White and Snow White and Tiana at Target, as far as the accessory packs. And then let me get the last little bit out. this we'll do our last accessory pack which is bell and i think y'all will like bell the most because i think i'm gonna like bell the most because bell's accessory pack speaks to me on a, on a fundamental level so here she is out of the box i'm gonna do a final check to check for any tape i got it in one spot up here on top And then another right next to it, because I don't know. Is there anything else? Nope, okay. So, tilting down. Our stuff out. So here is her little ring. Again, this is like a, uh, a compression ring that you use instead of like a fly machine or instead of abductors for your legs. Very cool. We've got a very cool little thing of stickers for Mulan. Very fun. This set, I feel like, captures the spirit of Mulan. Like, I feel like Mulan would be a gym bro more than she would be a, uh, a gamer girl. And gym bro, I mean in the more gender neutral term. But, alas. And again, there was not a doll designed for Milan. Uh, just a fashion pack and an accessory pack. So hopefully series two, or most likely a third quarter release, third quarter 2020 or 23, they will give us a 
second wave of these. Very cool. Let's see what else we got. Okay. So we've got our tablet. Very cool. Look at the molding on that. It's even got a molded stand in a different color, like it's flipped open. And then we've got our big water bottle with some Chinese writing on the side, I'm hoping. Um, I don't know how to read Mandarin or, uh, or Cantonese, so I'm going to trust that says something probably like Brave or Girl Power. But if you do, let me know in the comments what it says on the bottom, and hopefully it's not offensive. But Disney's generally pretty good about that. There's our little... Actually, I shouldn't say they're good about not being offensive. They're good at correcting when things are offensive. But... Okay. I didn't realize our mat didn't have anything holding it in. That's kind of crazy. So here's our mat. It is like a mouse pad material, surprisingly. Like you can see that. I don't know how much it rolls. Let's see. Okay. It doesn't roll real well, but it does roll. So I guess we just put it in that bag, like there. Very cute. And we've got our jump rope, which if we unround would be, let's see how long it is. Okay. So not really long enough, I don't think. Here is one of our dolls. If she were holding that in her hands, I feel like that's not going to be wide enough for her to jump rope with. Um, Cool idea, but maybe add some more, uh, add some more rope next time. But it's very fun. And then we just um, tie it up a little bit. Like that. And we can put it in her bag as well. Very fun. Put our water bottle in there too. Okay. Oh, very cute. Now, the piece de resistance is our little weights. They are held on right now with just a rubber band, which is kind of cool. And this is just like a hollow little stand for them. But, like, that's awesome. I'm a little sad they don't have um, handholds, just because I feel like it would be a little bit easier. And I wish that was Mushu and not just the dragon. But, very cute. I'm loving these. These will make a great addition to my House of Kens, because they don't have any weights their size. So, very fun. Kind of a random pack to get, but it does say Mulan. Like that, I'm not mad about. I wish this tablet actually flipped. Like that would be a little bit easier, so you could close it. But other than that, no complaints on that pack. Our last one that we've got is inspired by Belle. And it is a bedroom accessory playset. Now she has got a little bed tape, bed, uh, like breakfast table. She's got some makeup, like a cold cream. She's got a little tea set with a spoon. She's got another little desk organizer. She has got a backrest. She has got a little poof pillow. She's got a journal back there and some glasses and some headphones. She is all ready to chill. Now, these are great. I haven't seen much of this. There was a Barbie playset that came out with something like this that was molded, but not a pillow. This one is actually fabric, it looks like. So, 
That's gonna be a little bit easier to use. And I do love the little like breakfast tray because it looks like it has a drawer that slides out as well. So we'll see what we can put in there. Hopefully like the journals and the magazines we can put in that little um, drawer. But again, this was the 16 from Disney Store or Shop Disney Online. It's a very cool set. I'll show you guys how it gets laid out in the back. Fits over her legs. It's very cute. She's got that to support her. Yeah, looks great. Like, this is going to go straight into one of my bedrooms, I feel like. Maybe Rainbow High. That's the level of detail from this one. But very cute. Here is the UPC for her. This is one I would consider getting duplicates of. Maybe. If they go on sale. If, they, if these drop down to like $10 a pack, I could see myself getting duplicates. Just because there's enough cute pieces in here. And this one and the Cinderella pack just because these would be useful in every dollhouse I have, not just one or two. So, I don't know. But at the 16 price point for me personally, getting one of each of them was enough until they go down to 10 or below. Now, these might go on sale through Target. I didn't anticipate them being reduced on Shop Disney as quickly as they were allowed to be discounted, but these actually qualified for the 20% discount like three days after they were released, which I did not see coming at all. So, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Some of these times they surprise me. But... They're very fun. This line overall has done a spectacular job with its premiere release. Like, I have just the one critique that I want some guys now, and that's mainly my critique of every doll brand that gets released, or that releases a new line is that I want, you know, male representation in dolls. Um, Rainbow High is getting better about it. Now it's generally every release has at least one male character, so that's nice. But I could do with more Disney boys. So here's our first piece. It's very cute. It has these molded roses on top. Let's see if this drawer works. Haha, it does. Okay, and it's just big enough for like our journals. So we know that going forward. Here's our plush. Again, very plushy. It's a nice soft um, like uh, microfiber. It's got roses and different colors and greens and oranges and reds. Here is the pillow. Again, we have these really big tags. You can cut them off once you get yours. Nice soft pillow. We've got our little saucer and our teacup. This would have been an okay time to include like a, um, like a Disney World plant. Like basically like, oh yeah, this is a cup you can get at Disney World. Kind of thing. Like I've seen chip teacups that are just regularly available. This is like an eye cream kind of thing. It does have her uh, rose on top. Oh, very cute. Here is her little desk organizer. It's got the little rose right there. Very cute. Here is the spoon that goes with her tea, right there. Nothing too crazy about that. 
it's not really top heavy. I mean, it's a little top heavy for that kind of setup, but it's still very cute. Here are the headphones. Again, roses molded on the edges. Very cute. We have got a pen for her journal, or her adventure book that does open, so that's great. That is awesome. And it fits into her little organizer. And we've also got her journal, which has some paper inside. But this is a paper one, so not as cool as that one. We can slide it behind. And the glasses. Very cute glasses, some little polka dots. Nothing was heavily secured in there once I got it out of the plastic. So that's good. So yeah, these are really cute. But you know what? I'm not vibing with it as much as I thought I was gonna vibe with it when I got it out. I'm vibing more with the Cinderella pack. But these are super cute, I think. When you get all of these pieces out, because, you know, it's awesome. So let's see. So my critiques and improvements for the fast, for the accessory packs. Um, Tiana's was perfect. I don't find any flaw with that, except maybe they could have included her big hat that came in the fashion pack in that one instead of in the fashion pack. That would have flowed a little bit better. Um, Mulan's, I just wanted the tablet to be able to close. Um, and maybe have included like some, like, uh, like wristbands, like sweatbands and headbands kind of things would have been a cute accessory to include. Or just like some workout sneakers would have been kind of cool. Um, Belle. Belle is on theme. I do wish we had gotten like a book book like we got with Cinderella. I feel like another one of these would have been really easy to do. Because I feel like that is first and foremost Belle. The dog pack, I think I would have rather them have done like six different animals all in one pack instead of a dog and all of their dog walker accessories. But like six different animals that were articulated like this would have been great. Like, cause head articulation on a doll dog is hardly done. If they had included all of the things that they had for this dog in like a cat or a bunny or like, because I could definitely see like a stripy cat for Jasmine, uh, a bunny for Snow White or like a bird, like a hamster or something for Cinderella, obviously a frog for Tiana, and like a fish tank for um, for Ariel would have been really cool. And then like maybe like like a bird or just like another like small dog for um, for Belle. But like, I mean, there's the pet pack I feel like was underdone. It's very cute, but I feel like underdone. Um, and this was one I picked up last minute because I wasn't going to order it because it was underdone. But its accessories are cute, but I wish the food was removable from the dish. That way you could feed the dog. And then, other than that, it's okay. Rapunzel, I wish the easel and the locker were about 50% larger. 
just because that would make it more appropriately scaled to the doll. But its accessories that it comes with in the Rapunzel pack are great. So the only one that I think I have like no notes on is Cinderella. Cinderella is awesome. Like that's all like, I mean, you know, it doesn't really scream Cinderella except for the fact that it's like tidy kind of, but like, you know, like hmm. a pair of shoes coming with Cinderella would have been kind of cool considering you know, we just have, like, her little silver shoes that she got and then her silver ballet flats. So, I don't know. A pair of, like, clear heels would have been really cute to add with Cinderella's. So, that is the gist of it. There is nothing else to really talk about as far as the accessory packs. They're all really cool. You guys saw everything that comes in them. These are all of the accessory packs that are currently available. Hopefully we're going to get some more. Because I'd love to see what they do, especially with some recolors of things. So if you guys have any questions on them or you want specifics, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as quick as possible. Um, as always, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed it. Leave your questions in the comments. And be good, y'all. Bye.